Relatively recently, I made a video talking about the Vegas Golden Knights and why many hockey fans in general have come to dislike them. Therefore, I decided to continue what we'll call a mini-series, going over why some NHL teams are so hated. This time, we'll be traveling up to Leaf Land in search of some answers. Now, just to be clear, none of this is personal. I know a lot of people make being a fan of a particular sports team part of their identity. Therefore, this is not a personal attack. I know some great people that are Leafs fans, and this is really just meant to be education and informative. So, with that being said, here is why so many NHL fans despise the Toronto Maple Leafs. 1967. Yes, unfortunately, we're going there. Back before a good portion of viewers consuming this content were even thought of. This was a year in which Toronto made its last trip to the Stanley Cup Finals and won its last championship. And while yes, this is a devastating stat to cover so early in the video, there's a method to the madness. So let's try to put this into perspective. Since Toronto was able to defeat the Montreal Canadiens in six games to secure its last championship, 19 different NHL teams have won a Stanley Cup, and that's more than half of the current 32 teams. Despite this, however, year after year, going in, Toronto is nearly at the top for having the highest odds of winning Lord Stanley. Yes, while taking all of this into consideration, this is just a mystery in and of itself. However, we do have to take a very important thing into account here. Since Toronto is the largest city by population in all of Canada and the fourth largest in North America, this team is naturally going to have a rather large fan base. And yes, you could say this doesn't hold true to the same magnitude with the LA Kings, for example, but guys, this is Canada we're talking about here. Hockey is the equivalent of football here in the States, meaning that it's a really big deal. So you have the biggest city in Canada that has a hockey team, which logically means that they'll be the franchise in the spotlight the most because they sell the tickets, it's easy to market, etc., etc. This might be why we've seen Mitch Marner in a bajillion commercials. Anyway, so you have Sportsnet, aka Leafsnet as we know them, consistently talking about the Leafs. For fans of other NHL teams that live in Canada, or ones who just have access to Canadian media in general, it would get pretty annoying having to listen to one team getting talked about consistently over yours. And it would seem more understandable per se if the team was like the Tampa Bay Lightning, for example. However, sadly, just using the Bolts as an example here, Tampa has won three cups now since Toronto has gotten past the first round in 2004. With population and hype now taken into account, Account, let's consider location. So, as is usually the case with large cities, Toronto is relatively close to several. And a lot of these neighboring cities also have neighboring teams. You've got Detroit, Buffalo, Ottawa, Montreal, and Pittsburgh, all within a five hour radius by car or less. If you were to sub Boston in instead of Pittsburgh, this would be the list of teams that all despise the Toronto Maple Leafs. As we mentioned, since Toronto is such a huge city, this allows for a rather large fan base. And if you've ever been to a game that is hosting Toronto on the road, well, it's pretty likely you'll be hearing Go Leafs Go chants loud in the crowd. Trust me, I went to a Columbus Toronto game and saw it firsthand. Don't get me wrong, met some incredibly nice Toronto fans while I was there, but it was hard at first glance to distinguish who the home team really was, and this was over an eight hour drive away from Leafland, mind you. So not only do non-Toronto fans have to deal with the media hype, but also an insane amount of Leaf fans invading multiple arenas on the road. Therefore, if for whatever reason you dislike Toronto, well, essentially, there's no escaping them because they are everywhere. And with a very large fan base comes the probability that there's going to be a classless fan here and there. Even though, as I mentioned, I know some great Leafs fans myself, there seems to be this stereotype about them that for the sake of relevancy, we have to mention. To make things even more interesting, I decided to ask you all which team you disliked more out of the two teams that I've went over so far, and the overall consensus seemed to be the Vegas Golden Knights. Really though, when you think about it, whether we like them or not, this team has to have some of the most loyal fans because it's pretty impossible to fathom how much mental strain an average fan would be withstanding with each passing season. The high expectations that have been consistently matched with poor results. Even watching Steve Dangle losing it every postseason has gotten old by this point. 